Hello, I'm a great intellect, known commonly as Laplace's demon. To tell you the way I see things, we may regard the present state of the universe as the effect of its past and the cause of its future. Nice to make your acquaintance. I am also a demon, known commonly to the world as Maxwell's demon. To tell you more about me, I have the power such that at any moment I know all forces that set nature in motion, and all positions of all items of which nature is composed. I'll bet that you think you are more powerful than me. If I were so inclined, to give you an example, I could use my vast intellect to submit the universal data to analysis, such that I could embrace in a single formula the movements of the greatest bodies of the universe and those of the tiniest atom. Interesting. Moreover, with my intellect nothing would be uncertain in the future just like the past would be present before my eyes. That is all very fascinating, but let me assure you, I am the greater demon. How so? I am a being whose faculties are so sharpened that I can follow every molecule in its course. My attributes are essentially infinite as compared to yours. I can do what is, would be impossible for you, namely, reverse the actions of the, the second law of thermodynamics, and move atoms from a cold to a hot body, without the expenditure of work. Big deal. Let me explain. Under normal circumstances, we see that molecules in a vessel full of air at uniform temperature are moving with velocities by no means uniform, though the mean velocity of any great number of them, arbitrarily selected, is almost exactly uniform. Yes, but with my great powers, I'm already aware of these movements. Now let me go through an example. Okay. Let us suppose that such a vessel is divided into two portions, A and B, by a division in which there is a small hole. Okay. A being, such as myself who can see the individual molecules, opens and closes this hole, so as to allow only the swifter molecules, to pass from A to B, and only the slower molecules, to pass from B to A. What will that do? Without expenditure of work, I will be able to raise T heat temperature of B and lower that of A, in contradiction to the second law of thermodynamics. I still think, that my powers are greater. Not so, with my powers, I can play with the arrow of time, and thus toy around with your prediction formulas. In short, I can go back to the initial conditions and formula and fudge things up. You are my plaything. Okay, you win. You are indeed the greater demon. Yes, I already knew that. Let's talk more later. Okay, bye.